Hey everybody. So I'm hoping that this video is the return to regular programming. I feel like 90% return to my former self. Um, I have to go for a walk to go get a book for my Greek lessons um, that were supposed to start last week. And of course I didn't go because I felt so bad. Um, I still didn't know also whether or not I had coronavirus. So I wasn't gonna go and like expose myself to a bunch of people. Uh, I haven't really been out since last Sunday. It's now Tuesday. Um, so it's been almost nine days. I mean, I've been out like a little bit on my street. Like I've gone to the street market. I've gone to the grocery store. I've gone to the pharmacy. But like I can literally do everything I need to do on my street. Um, yesterday I did walk up and down a few times running errands and just going back and forth. But I haven't really left my neighborhood or walked very far. And today I need to go get the book, which is not close. And then I need this evening to go walk to my lesson. So <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Okay, so, so far so good in terms of my walking and breathing. No more winded than normal, <laughs> which is usually pretty winded. But the weather is nice, it's sunny, it's nice and cool. Most people are wearing a mask like they're supposed to. I did on my street see three people not wearing it like right off the bat. This is one of the big churches near my house. Oh, well, the door is open. Not usually open. So that's interesting. I ended up being too winded to walk back. So this is my ride home in a taxi. All right guys, I'm walking to my Greek lesson. And I have to say that now that it's dark so early, it really feels like fall is here because it's not even 6.30 and this is, it's pitch black outside. I really am not a fan of this. <laughs> I would prefer be on summertime all the time. I know people who have to get up early for work and school and whatever hate it, but I don't like it when it's this dark this early. So, and now it's getting chilly, especially at night. Oh well. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's now Friday. It's my birthday and I am down running some errands and doing some shopping. I've worked a bunch of extra hours this week so I could take Friday off. And there's a strong possibility that we're gonna have a lot more restrictions announced today. So today is the day to get out and do stuff. <laughs> um, I do think that it won't be a lockdown yet, but it might be coming. So <laughs> need to take all the chances that I can, as long as I'm feeling okay, to get out. I probably won't be able to walk back home, but every day it seems to get a little bit better. I am still going to keep my doctor's appointment on Monday in case it is something more serious. Anyway, I actually have an appointment here in a little bit. It's sort of been an area that while I've been to, I don't think I've ever filmed before. We're sort of down in the commercial triangle near Monasteraki. So if you're coming from Sigtanma, it's sort of to the right. This is a really cute street. I don't think I've ever walked down this street before. I should walk right on past. Interesting shops too. And you just never know what you're gonna find down here because you know they sell everything. Look, boxes and bags, fake flowers, more packaging, watches. Let's see what's in here. Lamps maybe? Oh no, it's like a oh, I don't know what that is. 
Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I'm kind of, okay, I need to figure out what this is. I can't figure out what the name is because there's no sign. It's interesting. I like it. The sign says, I feel sorry for people who are not drunk. Said Frank Sinatra, we say drink cocktails, eat pizza, listen to the DJs. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's open. It's a cute bar. And I love it when people paint the electric boxes. Well, this is a nice bar too. Very cool. And the bookstore. I think this bookstore has English books inside. I remember right. I do have English books. And now it's really busy over here. Sometimes I wonder how people deliver things here in Greece with the sidewalks and the stairs and well really the stairs. You can always go in the street to wheel your packages, but the stairs drive me nuts. Oh I love this place. This is Intico and they have really good falafels. <laughs> Probably see which way I need to go for my appointment. <laughs> All right, so I'm over running my errands near the big cathedral. It's so beautiful and it's such a nice day outside. So if you're not familiar, this is the a Catholic church, but it is a cathedral. And it is, let me get the name correct. So let me go up and look at the sign one more time. It's built in 1842. So it's the Athens Cathedral, the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary is the title. But what I love, you know, the gold mosaic, but then you can't see it in the film, but I'm gonna go up so you can. You go up the stairs and look in the arches ceilings are painted with all these beautiful blue stars. Well, the stars aren't blue, but the sky is blue with these beautiful gold stars. Really lovely. And really amazing doors. Look at the detail work here. So right next to the Catholic Church is this small Byzantine church, probably built between the 12th and the 13th centuries. And the outside of the church is made up of what they call spolia, which is basically pieces of marble and buildings from other sites, most likely taken from the ancient Agora. Um, the other really interesting fact about this tiny church is that in the 1800s, it was a public library here in Athens. It used to have several frescoes decorating the inside, but only one now remains. And then at the top of the dome is a very old painting um, that looks like it's in desperate need of restoration, uh, but it's very amazingly beautiful. And I just love these old pieces of marble. I kind of wonder what island they came from. <laughs> And all around the outside of the church are these amazing tile, mosaic tiles. This surrounds the entire church. And it's so tiny compared to this huge Catholic cathedral. Oh, even the doors are made. Look, the doors are even tiny. Like, I fit in the door, but that's about it. Like, if you're much taller than me, then you're in trouble. Look at this. Really amazing. Hello everyone. It is now Saturday, the day after my birthday. It's Halloween. Just had a haircut. It's kind of hard to tell when I'm walking, but um, we have had more restrictions announced today. And earlier in the week, I thought we were going to go back into lockdown and that they might make us stay home and close the salons again. <laughs> I needed a haircut anyway, but I decided to go ahead and get it done, just in case. We're not going into a full lockdown though. Um, 
it's uh, going to be bars and restaurants closed completely. Um, they can be open for takeaway and delivery. And, and this isn't all over Greece, it's like in major areas where they're having problems. Sorry, I'm trying to walk down the hill at the same time I talk to you. <laughs> and then uh, there's still a curfew from 12 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, we don't have to say when we're leaving, so that's good. So for me personally, not too bad. I mean, I do like going out to eat, but I haven't really been doing it because it's not worth the risk. I'm getting out today to go to a bookstore, um, a used bookstore, over in uh, Kupaki. So, so I'm going out. Lots of cute cafes and bars on this street. And I'm going to the bookstore. Still may come get a coffee, I'm not sure. We'll see. Depends on how long I spend in the bookstore. <laughs> They close at four, so I have an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, it's a really nice day out. It's not super warm. It's not cold, but it's sunny. Love it. It's surprisingly really quiet over here for a Saturday. <clears throat> things that I love about living in Greece is it's the last day of October. You can still sit outside and have a meal, which I'm having a very late brunch. I'm not wearing a jacket. It's still nice and sunny. It's perfect. It's actually perfect weather. It's lovely. And I am not the only one doing it. Of course, I chose to sit not near anyone. Um, but yeah, you can see that other people are here eating. Now, as of Tuesday, you can no longer eat. Uh, not eat. <laughs> you can eat. <laughs> as of Tuesday's bars and restaurants will be closed for a month um, with new restrictions in place. Um, so I'm trying to get out and eat a few times before that happens. All right, I'm over in Plaka. And I walked up that touristy street and I decided to come up this way, which I never do. And it's a big mistake that I've never come this way. So this restaurant here has this amazing garden with all these ruins in it. And then they have an amazing view from their outside seating. And I'm going to show you the card so you can see and come. It's called that. And if you're English speaking, it's this piece. This this piece, this piece is probably more correct. I didn't eat there because I just ate. But it, and it looks more like a dinner place. And from above you can see the Gavetta's Hill. It's a great spot. And look at this old house next to it. Which is obviously not being lived in, but it's really beautiful. Really nice. I'm just gonna keep walking up this way and see what I can find. I think if I come up this way and turn left, we're gonna run into the Acropolis, a view of the Acropolis. Looks like a hotel room. Oh, I hear a plane. <laughs> Almost sounded like a jet though. I think it might be a military plane. I can't see it though. It's a cool sound. Not left, but right. So it's right there. So that kind of gives you an idea of where it's at in comparison to this cute street. Oh, but now I can't breathe. So I think I'll be going back down the hill instead of further up the hill. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Sunday. I've come down to do some picture taking for a friend and 
It's sort of a really nice day, and of course it's the first Sunday of November, so that means all the historical sites are now free on Sundays, so it's pretty crowded down here. So, and of course we have all some wonderful music. I see them down here a lot, actually. And since I still can't really climb hills, I'm not going to go to the top of the Acropolis, but I think I might go wander through the Agora today, because why not? I have my free ticket, and I'm going to go in. It's like the best thing about being here in the winter is the free entrance. <laughs> So the free days are from November to, I believe it's April, like the end of March, well maybe it's the end of March, but, and then there are a couple of days during the year, like October 28th and March 25th, that the days are also free because those are holidays. There are a few more, but I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. I will link in the description below where you can find all the information about the free days to get into the archaeological sites. And since it's outside, it's like a very corona safe thing to do. Okay, I just saw this. This is what looks like the old home of an amphora, which they usually stored wine in. But like you can see, the wall has been built around it and they would have accessed it from above. Well, that's really interesting. Actually, you can see pieces of it still stuck into the mortar. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. I've seen them in the ground and I've seen them out of the ground, but I haven't seen one like half cut away. So I've always walked by this building and I wasn't really sure what it was, but I hadn't been over here before. And apparently it's a mosque. Um, So what's really cool is inside at the very top, you could see in the video that there was still some of the paint mosaic painting, or I don't know if it was a mosaic, I think it was actually painting at the top of the center where they would go to pray um, in a mosque. It's very cool. And then above the entryway here is right there above the door is a little bit of Arabic script still. And in these little, uh, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> There's still some painting on the inside. Let's see if I can show you. You can kind of see some of the blue and yellow paint in that little alcove there. That's the word I was looking for. It's very cool. And this is the entrance now. 
They don't let you come in this way. You have to come through another way. Uh, ah, I see more paint. See it there in the archways? Some paint. Just over there on that side. Oh, and a little bit over here. All right, guys, I'm coming to you sort of vlog style at the end here because I wanted to give you an update on how I'm feeling and some of the restrictions that are now in place. So as you can see, as the week progressed, I was able to get out and do more. And on Monday, I had my uh, doctor's appointment. She could not hear anything wrong with my lungs. She did send me over to the hospital to have an ultrasound on my heart and they said everything was fine. I do have some blood test results, but they're probably not related to the breathing issue. I actually think that the breathing issue is my allergies. They have been really bad lately, and it's entirely possible that that is the culprit. So I'm just trying to, you know, push myself a little bit so that my lung capacity gets a little bit back up to speed, and then also like make sure I protect my health. So I'm taking some extra vitamins. So my immunity doesn't disappear. Uh, as far as the restrictions, so we were supposed to have the announcement on Friday, but as most of you may know, there was a very large earthquake over near Samos um, that affected the island and also Izmir in Turkey. So the Prime Minister delayed the announcement eventually until Saturday. So as of today, Tuesday, bars and restaurants in Athens and other areas that are in level two. So now there's only two levels. There's level one and level two. Um, bars and restaurants cannot have any seating at all. So they can only be open for takeaway and delivery. Uh, our curfew is now from 12 to 5 a.m. It was from 12.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. So it's a little bit longer. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, well, bars and restaurants and museums and gyms are closed. Uh, but schools are still open. I believe the universities are trying to teach remotely. I'm not 100% sure on how that's working. Uh, regular school is in session. They're encouraging people to work from home. It's supposed to be half your staff is working from home, but I don't know how they would monitor that. Uh, and then as of today, Thessaloniki and another town's name that I can't remember, um, are in full lockdown mode like they were earlier in the spring. Thessaloniki has had a huge number of cases. They've been like disproportionately higher there than it has anywhere else. I'm going to link to some news articles in English in the description box if you guys are interested or if you're coming to Greece and you need to know some of these things. Uh, because if you are still traveling and you are coming to Greece either for work or for holiday, uh, your trip may be affected by this because like the island of Naxos is in level two. It is not level one, but like Paros, as far as I know as of right now, is level one. So you may need to alter your plans uh, accordingly. Uh, anyway, I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys are all well and I will see you guys in the next video.